What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So uh, last time was quite a strange episode. We played Cupid, matchmaker to two lovebirds caught in the middle of a blood feud between two families. One guy's name is Bo. I don't know why I say it like that. Bo. I just feel like someone with the name Bo should be called Bo. So we helped Bo and his little lovebird known as Patricia. They were passing cute little love notes back and forth, and uh, for some reason, a degenerate outlaw like me with the ugliest face known to mankind. I mean, I scare bears away with this mug. For some reason, I was the one delivering the love letters. The minute your boy gets deputized, I go from killing people senselessly for no reason to helping people with their love problems. I mean, <laughs> uh, this is just not the life I signed up for. With that being said, welcome back. It's a lovely day here in our camp, and uh, you know what? I think we're gonna do some more nice things. Well, I mean, I say that, but uh. Can, can I have a quick word? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sarcastic now. If you didn't know, I never had that before. But now that I'm Cupid and a, a deputy, I have sarcasm. Um, anyway, so what was I gonna say? Yeah, we're gonna try and do some nice things. Also, in the future, if we run across a job that requires me to kill people, I'm gonna try my very best not to kill them because, again, you boys trying to earn some honor. What's up, Molly? You got some Molly for me? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I'll stop. Yes, mister. Hello. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know, but if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so. Arthur! Ex excuse me, Miss O'Shea. <laughs> what you want? Uh, I bring Santa a gift. Claus. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say Whoa. so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? <laughs> you too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. <laughs> Charles, and lazy. Have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys <laughs> should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information, but it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, mm. God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. <laughs> you are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. You gotta love the banter. We're family. Well, well, well. Good old lush Santa Claus is out on a little ride, huh? Hey. So how'd you get this piece of information? This old man. He only been down here all five minutes. Well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. Oh, really? Yeah, drinking. grog house. Exactly. You don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, mm. hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Oh, boo! That's Bad. boring, though! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Just like clockwork! All right, uncle. I call him Santa Claus because he's got the rosy cheeks and the beard. Yeehaw! We're robbing that wagon there! Stop! That's right, you better stop! I said stop! Alright, I can't breathe. <gasps> now, don't try anything stupid. And we won't do anything. 
think I'm kind. Mm. No, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, Good great. job, Uncle. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? We keep robbing the same guy over and over again. I mean, <laughs> he's rich. He's gonna call the army on us at some point. I mean, poor guy. We have robbed him three times now, right? You're gonna give me a hand here? Yeah, 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 calm down. Yeah, it's been three times, I'm pretty sure. He is not going to be happy about this one. Well, luckily I haven't killed anyone yet. Okay, we're looking good. Oh! We're nearly a thousand here. Damn! Well, that's not too bad. Maybe I misjudged Uncle. Shit! Hey! Think oh. I say something! Oh, great. Oh, never Let's mind. Go, Let's go. And here's where everything goes to shit. Uh, it's, it's the old man's fault. Get Santa Claus. If you're confused by Santa Claus, uh, it's, it's the man with the rosy cheeks and the white beard. Only he's an alcoholic in this world, not a guy that delivers presents and says ho ho ho. Now, I'm sorry, Uncle. I'm not shooting anyone. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm not going to shoot anyone. I'm trying to get my honor up. Although, with that being said, I might lasso someone off their horse if I get the chance. Yeah, good job, Uncle. You had to pick the... Oh! You had to pick the one wagon that belongs to Cornelius, right? What's his name? Cornelius? Yeah, Cornelius, the railroad guy. Poor man, he has been robbed so many times. What kind of dumb questions? Keep going. We're losing them. This is the first bit of action you've seen all uh, all year long, right, Gramps? Come on, Arthur. Besides getting wasted at, uh, back at camp, I mean that's all he ever does. Probably the first time he's been on a horse in a minute too. Might get some saddle sores. Get off the trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men at camp. All right. Oh, this is Whoa. just great. Let, let, let's hide in here. No matter what I do, we always, always end up slaughtering someone. I guarantee it's inevitable. Get out of here, go on. No, get the gun! Damn it, I left my good gun on the uh the horse. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. Good job, Santa Claus. You really did it. The one wagon, the one wagon that belongs to the railroad guy. We have to go and rob it. We have made All a right. bitter enemy. <clears throat> He is going to hate us. Hey, shit. Absolutely. <laughs> well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Oh! Over by the house. Oh! Hey. They found us! Just keep this calm. See what happens. They sniffed us out. That's why you need to take a bath! Okay, see what I mean? No matter what I do, no matter how good your boy tries to be, every single job ends in murder. Watch, it will be inevitable. Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, oh, it's a squatter. Uh, why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't you heard nothing, and definitely not anyone in the barn. Some noises out by the barn a while ago. What did I just say? Ain't me. Better not be. Okay. All right. Coop forth. Rat us out like that. Go check out the, the bar. Sir. You dirty squatter. I'm about to noose you. I'm going to hang you from a tree. He probably doesn't even know there's someone out here. He, he's just talking shit, trying not to get shot. Oh, here they come with their bright lanterns. I told you. It is inevitable. I am going to have to slaughter someone every episode. I mean, there's just no way to be a good boy when you're riding with a bunch of outlaws. Do I have my rope? See, I can't do anything. Damn it. Oh, the they're getting close. Looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Yeah, that's right. Going around the back. 
I'm going to deal with your friend here with his little curly mustache. I wish I could get my rope. Oh, yes, I can. All right, let's try and lasso this man. Come on. Damn it, come on. Place looks empty to me. Oh, shit, shit. The old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Oh, oh my place God. Is empty. Shit. Oh! Are you serious? See, I told you. I told you. Like I was going to try and lasso him. Here, but I didn't. And even when I was trying to be a good, good boy, we still have to slaughter everyone. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, see, this is what I'm wondering. Do I actually have to kill them? Or can I just sit here? Ah, that's no fun. Screw that. What's up? Boom! That's right. I'm an outlaw degenerate. We also have to watch out. I'm pretty sure the barn's gonna like catch on fire any moment. Good job, Uncle. Real smart. Santa Claus looking ass with your rosy cheeks. This is why we never trust an alcoholic to create jobs for us. Or rather pick our jobs out, I suppose. Mm. Oh! Headshot! Now nah, we got this. You boys got dead eye. I've got this, Uncle. They teach you that move in the army too. Can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. Damn! Oh my god! <laughs> that is embarrassing. Screw that, man. Let's just break out the ooh the red eye. Make my life a lot easier. Hey, I say we send out uh, Uncle as a as a hostage. Technically, it was his fault anyway. Where are you at? Where are you hiding? Oh, we got more guys over here. All right, let's let's do this. Pop! Come on! Pop! And pop! Check it out! Oh, deadly! They're coming out of every which way. Holy shit! This had to have been a setup. No way! All these guys just randomly appear out of nowhere. Oh! Uh, but boys, I think we might want to run. Unless you're bulletproof, or rather fireproof, I think we uh, we might want to get the hell out of here. Okay, wow, that is embarrassing. Thank goodness there's dead eye. Having fun, Grandpa? Yeah, you like running with the big boys, don't you? Not the same thing as sitting back at the base drinking, huh? All right, let's deal with this the proper way. Oh, I'm out of dead eye, damn it. I can uh, use, oh! Oh, the barn's coming down! Shit! Okay, we're kind of trapped. We might want to get the hell out of here, like fast. Oh yeah. We're about to be cooked. I could use my chewing tobacco to, uh, I guess, get dead eye quickly, right? To regenerate my dead eye. But uh, I mean, now that we're on the run, it doesn't really much matter. Yeah, let's give it up for good old uncle with this brilliant idea to rob Cornwall. Sure. That's gonna work. We smell like animals that belong in the woods anyway. Try to confuse them. Oh, okay. You're the leader, apparently. Quick. Behind these rocks. Alright, I'm following you, genius. He doesn't even know what right is. Okay, he's gonna take the left, I'm gonna take the right. So let's uh, use throwing knives and try and be quiet. All right, when do I do this? You see anything? Not yet. Oh! Yo, Gramps, what the hell, man? I swear, if you guys tell me I did something wrong, I'm gonna scream, because I oftentimes don't listen to instructions. Pretty sure I said I'll take the right, he takes the left, right? I know, right? How many times can I say right? Ah, oh, I've got to stop saying right. Jesus, what's wrong with my brain? But I'm almost positive I got the guy I was supposed to kill. I blame Uncle. Yeah, I blame the Gramps. He wasn't paying attention. Well, 
I have a feeling I could have avoided escalating this situation, but then again, eh, who knows, maybe not. I tried to uh, do things the stealthy way in the barn and you, know, you see what happened there. You are just terrible at this cover thing, aren't you? Oh, point blank through the ear. All right, boys, I got this. Just stand back and watch how a professional does it. Oh. PC Master Race, my butt crack. Okay, let's try this again. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. Shh. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? Your right or my right? Okay, so again, I'm supposed to take the guy on the right. Oh, unless I'm supposed to get up close and personal. He said do it quietly, so I'm guessing not with the gun. Yeah. All right, follow me, Grandpa. Let's go deliver a knife into their back. Let's ask them a question. Knife to meet you. I don't even know. I'm trying to fish for puns here, but it's not working. All right, all right. Lovely day to die, wouldn't you say, good sir? Oh, right in the rib cage. Okay, that worked out a lot better. Oh, 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 shit. I don't know, man. This is kind of funny if you ask me. Arthur. Yeah, you need help. Okay, all right, give me a second. Let me just try and lasso this guy. Oh, but, but. Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Never you mind. Stand there, why don't you? Make I was. Suffer. I was. <laughs> okay, well, we did it better that time. All of this is your fault, Uncle. I am not gonna let this one slide. This is all on you. Mm. Oh, let's break out my sniper rifle. I managed to get it off my horse this time. And these guys are still completely oblivious. Check it out. Pop right through the nose. Yeah, that's right. Light him up, Uncle. Come on. Slow poke. It's all right, boys. I got this. I'm here to save the day. Break out my double barrel shotgun. Run up close to personal. You know what? Screw that, man. I've got throwing knives. You hold that in your face. He's not even dead. And you hold that. And you hold that one. Oh, sh oh okay. Wow. All right. That, that time it was on me. Your boy got a little too brave there. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to give them some really sharp butter knives by delivering them into, really? Into their face, okay. Hold up, let me redo this part, I'll be right back. All right, no more blaming the uncle, no more dying, no more doing stupid stuff. I'm here to end their day. Howdy. Oh, peeled your skull back. Okay, now it's time to use my cheeky little dead eye. It makes life so much easier. Oh yeah, oh yeah, with the double headshot. Double tap, baby. Got to make sure they're actually dead. They might be a zombie. You never know. And one more guy. Oh, through the skull. Or the neck. I don't know. Point is, he's dead. Again, see, there's no way to do this stealthily. Yeah, I'll do what you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an honest mistake. I had to leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Mmm. Okay, not stealthily, my bad. Oh, shit! Gang share, 450. Your share, 123. Okay. Maybe I misjudged the uncle. Or, as I like to call him, again, I'm just gonna refer to him from now on as Drunken Santa Claus, because that's what he really reminds me of. Okay, so sure, I was trying to be a good boy this episode. I was trying to not slaughter everyone, but, I mean, we all kind of knew that's not going to happen, right? Oh, wanted. Crime reported. Um... Okay, I think I should probably get the hell out of here before I'm caught. Yeah, and I wasn't trying to be stealthy. That's not what I meant. Um, it, I was trying to be, you know, a good upstanding citizen that doesn't slaughter everyone I encounter. But that seems to never happen. Every time we do a job, it's almost inevitable that at least a, a couple dozen people are going to die, right? <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Try and lose the potential... Sheriff's posse that are on us? I'm not sure. I'm just currently wanted, so I guess as long as I leave the territory, I should be good. Man, we killed a lot of people back there. Now see, does that affect my uh, honor in this game? Because it's almost inevitable. I mean, the game forces you to, you know, actively be in combat. I mean, I can't avoid that, right? I can't just not kill people. I mean, what's the point in that? It's fine, whatever. 
I'm sure my honor isn't affected too much. I'm still teetering, you know, kind of on the middle, more towards the left yeah. side. But overall, you know, between last episode and now, I think I'm doing all right. No, I'm not. I'm joking. They're, they're warming up the spot in hell for me as we speak. All right. Well, drunken Santa Claus. Maybe I misjudged you. At first, I thought you were kind of crazy. You're just sort of the, uh, the gang's drunk. Lie around all day. Wasted. Singing to yourself. But uh, we actually managed to walk away with a pretty hefty bundle of cash. I mean, I have killed people for less. To free Micah, I slaughtered all of Strawberry, and I got nothing out of that. You know what, little piggy? Come here. Come here. I want you. Oh, shit. I can't believe I missed that. You know what? It's fine. I'll break out my revolver. Actually, hold up. Let's try and do this the professional way. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, sort of like Indian style. On a horse with a bow. Sneak up beside them and... Come here, little piggy. Oh, shit. Nope. Hold up. I'm not used to trying... Oh, shit. I'm not used to uh, trying to kill things with a bow. Oh, my God. This is hard. I know. My aim is whack. Yes, I know. Come here. Stop squealing, little piggy. You know you're going to die. I could get off my horse, but I mean, that wouldn't be any fun, right? I want to get a moving kill. Oh, this is perfect timing. Okay, so let me go ahead and use my... Ooh, do I want to use it? That's kind of wasteful, actually. Fully restores dead eye. I don't think I need to do that. Um, fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye? Wait, whoa, what? Holy shit. Hmm. Man, all of these are actually really useful. I can't believe I haven't been using them. Fully restores horse's health. Okay, so I'm guessing all of these are for my horse. Interesting. I can't believe I haven't looked at this until now. Fully restores dead eye. Uh, you know what? Let's go on and use the uh, dead eye tonic. Open snake oil. Yeah, go on, take a big swig of that snake oil. All right, now I have my dead eye, so I should be able to kill this boar, right? Oh shit! All right, don't, don't. There we go. That's right. Oh, I shot him in the booty cheeks. Oh come on! Oh, it's dead. Easy. Whoa. Shut up! Shut up! I'm gonna redeem myself. That was a terrible kill. That was not, you know, something uh, that I should be proud of. Took multiple shots. Even with Dead Eye, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was still missing. All right. Uh, oh, we got some. Uh, we got some steaks, animal fat, a boar tusk, skin. Well, pelt. Not too shabby. I'll take it. Did I really just drop my pelt? Yes, I did. Wow. I am the world's worst hunter. Let me stow this away on my horse. Don't worry, I'll hunt another boar down and uh, I'll do it the right way. Go, One bro. shot, headshot on a horse while riding at full speed. You wait and see. Now just to find a boar. Hmm. I could hunt a horse. <laughs> joking, joking. Oh, what's happening here? Is this a holdup? It is, it's a holdup. It's my chance to save a citizen in distress. Right? Unless these are actually... Let's move. Oh, oh, no, th these are bad guys. We doing what's necessary. Move along. Right really? Oh, I'm doing what's necessary too. What's up, man? What's up, fools? I'm here to save the day. Ha! Mm. I got that guy with the bow. Holy shit, that was actually pretty good. All right, what's up, fool? You want some of this action? Oh! You rode right into that. Oh, and there goes the horses. All right, well. Yeah, those are raiders. So do I lose honor for killing raiders? Or, uh, man, I'm just confused. I have no idea. I'm still kind of in the middle, but still more towards the left side. Honestly, I'm just mad confused. I know that you can up your honor by doing certain things like helping people, but uh, I don't think I was helping anyone just then. I was helping myself to their life by killing them, but not exactly the same thing. And the guy that owned the wagon is now gone. So don't think I'm going to get any honor for that. Hmm. Do you guys know where your owner is? No? Oh shit. Okay, so I, uh, I just figured out that you can actually sell the wagon, right? So even though I wasn't able to save the poor guy from being robbed by the raiders, 
his uh, unfortunate circumstance is my fortune because I can go sell this bad boy, make a little bit of money on the side, you know what I'm saying? Sure, maybe I didn't get my honor up and I'm not exactly being a good citizen, but you know, sometimes one man's trash is another man's treasure. Which, uh, that does not apply in this situation because, uh, this is his treasure, but now he just doesn't have it, so. One man's treasure that's stolen is another man's that fortune. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Point is, we're gonna go sell the wagon and make some serious cash. Oh! Of course, that's assuming I don't crash into something and kill the horses. <laughs> ah, one moment. Oh, this place again. This is where we stole the stagecoach after we lifted it off a person. Well, actually stole it from his barn. Howdy, howdy. You're still in the business of selling stolen vehicles? Well, this isn't actually a vehicle, but more like a box of wood with wheels. All right, all right. I hope you give me a good price for this because uh, it is a full wagon with a team of horses and loot in the back. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. Spend How much? Wisely. How much, you ugly old cuss? What did I get? Come on. How much did your boy get? Oh shit, $40, hot damn. All right, all right, not too bad. I mean, I would have preferred to have gotten the honor for saving that man, but uh, I'm not exactly sure how that even works. It's fine, at the end of the day, your boy's $40 richer. That man, yep. well, he's still alive, they didn't kill him, and I slaughtered three of the raiders, so all around, you know, pretty good, pretty good. Well, speaking of things that are not so good, I'm still going to say that uh, a lot of what happened was you know whose fault. Which, you know what's hilarious? We started out today's video talking to Molly, right? The job was Molly. We were going to talk to Molly, and then randomly, here comes Drunken Santa Claus with a brilliant idea to rob Cornelius, right? I mean, oh, that was just a brilliant stroke of genius, my friend. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Molly, I'm pretty sure she's married to Sean or she's his lover. I'm not sure. Either way, Sean has a job for us back at the camp where we're going to rob someone's home. I mean, shit, I've already done so much evil in today's video. Why not end it with a little bit more bad? You know? I mean, honestly, can I really do much worse than uh, slaughtering a bunch of people? I don't think so. Excuse me. Oh. You best clear off. Oh, Driscoll's? Really? Hmm. So I'm not allowed over the bridge, huh? Well, what if I just go ahead and do it anyway? Go on, get, get! Whoa! Now see, I could kill them, but I've got to kind of make up for all the evil I've been doing lately. Mm. Like the job we just left. But again, I'm blaming the uncle for that one. If it wasn't for him and his lack of uh, foresight, that wouldn't have been so nasty. All right, let's go back to camp and uh, see what Sean has planned for us. Hopefully it's better than whatever the drunken uncle had. <laughs> all right, all right, here we are back at our lovely camp. Lovely camp that's probably gonna be overrun by the army, Pinkertons, O'Driscolls, everyone in this area. We make a lot of enemies. Although, oddly enough, for some reason, I'm deputized and we're friends with the sheriff. Not exactly sure how Dutch was able to swing that one, but I'm not complaining. All right, Sean. What's your brilliant idea? And please, can it be better than Santa Claus's idea? Because his idea was just terrible. Rob a homestead. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here? Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. <laughs> well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. 
<laughs> they're Arthur. sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Are you serious? You the last time we were... You're cool, you hear me? The last time we were given a job that seemed too good to be true and too easy was five minutes ago with drunken Santa Claus. And it was too good to be true. All right, well, I guess uh, live and learn, right? Or in Arthur's case, live and not learn and then possibly die in the future. Nah, when you're dumb enough, nothing can hurt you, right? At least I hope so. How All right, my boy Sean, place? following you. It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. Yo, uh, can I have a little bit of that accent you've got there? It's kind of sexy. I've just got this cowboy accent. I sound like this. I don't know what it is, but I sound like I never got no education. Now you, on the other hand, you've got that Irish accent, which is really cool. Although the ultimate accent is, of course, the British accent. Don't know why, just is. My accent, I don't know what it is. I guess like inbred hillbilly from Kentucky. I would really fit in this world, honestly. My accent fits in perfectly with a bunch of dirty cowboys that never bathe, no education, can't read, illiterate. <laughs> it's almost me, describes me perfectly. Uh, why were you up there? So. What were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. Oh. Anyway, don't you worry. I think you need to give up a, a, a larger cut of your share. You know, you've been kind of skipping out on the uh, the deposit box. Mm-hmm. You sure about this? You sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked down. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, <laughs> we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. Hmm, this job better be easy. All right, it's gonna be off the road up ahead. I've already had my hands full with a lot of mass occurring today. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Kind of one easy job that doesn't involve slaughter. I wonder what a homestead could. Oh, of course. I was about to say, what could a homestead have worth robbing? But he said they robbed a uh, a train, so who knows? Maybe they got quite a bit of money. And if it's uh, Cornelius's train, then wow, I really feel bad for that guy. He is getting robbed every time he turns around. We keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Cornwall. No, it's Cornwall. Whatever the hell his name is, I can't remember. It's the guy that owns the train and apparently oil as well. Why am I crouched? <laughs> no one can see me. They can smell me, but they can't see me. Oh, I can't. I keep forgetting to take my sniper with me. That is so annoying. Yeah, whatever. Look. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Sure, whatever you say. Go on down there. Sweet talk him. 
He said there were two, so if one's there, there's probably another guy inside somewhere. Hopefully, passed out drunk. You know what? Again, I'm gonna try and be a good boy and not kill someone, even though I've already ruined that for the, uh, the beginning of this episode, but if I can, I'm gonna try and lasso this guy. All right, go on, Sean. Hit him with that sexy accent. Hey there. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Damn. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? That's right. You're scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, there goes doing anything the nice way. Oh, <laughs> they shot his hat off. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me show you what I can do. One for you. Oh, really? Seriously? I'm sliding down the log. Oh, no. I ran out of dead eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Actually, this is perfect timing because I can use my dead eye tonics open snake oil. Snake oil for dead eye. Who knew? Take a little chug of that. Oh, yeah, I can feel the snake oil running through my veins. Oh, you're not Sean. I thought that guy was Sean for some reason. Surprise, boys. Lovely day to get shot in the head, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, precision. What the hell, Arthur? Who's going to tell us where the money's stashed now, huh? Oh. I guess we should give the place a look, see what we can find. Oh, you're right. Nah, whatever. I got this. I mean, honestly, how many places can they find to hide a big pile of money in a dirty, small log cabin like this? Should be easy. I mean, criminals are pretty dumb, right? We're dumb, so uh, I'm going to assume that's a yes. Ooh, what the hell is this, money clip? Uh, oh yes, money clip. I will take that. Thank you, thank you. $11, oh shit, <laughs> a whole $11. You know, with that money, I could go and uh, buy a new outfit. I've been rocking the same outfit for a while. I think it's about time I get a little upgrade. New camp, new outfit. Oh! Ah, damn it. There ain't much. Double action revolver. Back to camp. Uh, well, that might be better than the, uh, the, uh, the cult I have currently. Let's search the cabinet. Hmm. Uh, gin. Can't take that, I'm already full, I'm guessing. Oh, salted meat, yummy. Kentucky bourbon. No, thank you. Cheese? Oh. All right, well, I, I thought I was coming in here for a stack of money, but instead I'm taking cheese and not taking the bourbon. Cool. Moonshine, oh. Pass up on the bourbon, but I will definitely take some moonshine for sure. I want to kill my body in one swig. <laughs> Organs all fail at once. Oh. Cigarette card? Well now, who the hell are you? Jolly Jack cigarettes. <laughs> well, you're a fat looking bastard, aren't you? Prominent Americans. Mm-mm-mm. Extra strong tobacco. Yeah, all right, well, I'm gonna put that down now. I don't really care about that. Or rather, I'm going to uh, store it, because why not? Ooh, revolver ammo. Don't mind if I do, really? An entire box has two bullets in it. Cool. Well, unless he found a big stack of cash hidden away somewhere, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything in here. Nope, don't see anything. I think I've taken all the items I need, unless I'm missing something, which in that case, you guys will leave about a thousand comments. Uh, already looted that body. Yeah, all right, well, nothing else to take. Oh, Sean, about all that money. You said they robbed a train, right? Now I'm hoping that they robbed a train full of passengers and they didn't just walk away with $11 because I'm pretty sure that's all I have to show for this. $11, some moonshine and cheese and a card. That's not enough, I'm sorry. Oh, potent health cure. Don't mind if I do. Was that it? Like seriously? Where is Sean? Is he gone? He's gone. Did I pick up money without knowing it? I got the $11, right? Yeah, I got $11 
And uh, how do I check how much money I have? $347. So unless I picked up a big stack of cash, like hundreds of dollars and didn't notice, I'm pretty sure we didn't make much money. Nah, I'm sure we did. I wasn't paying attention. I have a bad habit of not paying attention. I guess that comes from going to school when I was younger, right? I really avoided trying to pay attention to school and it's kind of a bad habit to carry it over into my adult life. Well, let me keep looting up here and uh, I guess we'll ride back to camp and see exactly what Sean got. Hopefully it's more than me. Oh, well, hello, hello. There's a stranger right across from where we just robbed and uh, did not get very much for it. Although I did get that revolver, the double action revolver. So maybe that's worth killing several people. But uh, anyway, there's a stranger down here. And of course he's British. So uh, if you guys remember from, I believe last episode, we encountered a man looking for his British partner known as Gavin. So uh, I wonder if this is the Gavin he was looking for. Hello? Is there a Gavin over here? I do believe I know where your British friend is. Y G Gavin? Oh, really? Are you serious? It's unavailable due to my recent crimes. What recent crimes? I'm a law-abiding citizen. Yeah. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna ride around in circles until I can go back and, uh, you know, access this uh, little mission here. Pretty sure that's Gavin. So if that's Gavin, we'll take uh, Gavin to his little British friend. And hopefully I get a reward. Oh! Uh, I think I found a man that's sick. Hello, sir? Are you okay? Good Samaritan here. Uh, how, how can I help you? Oh, wow. He is really out of it. What happened to you? Are you, you a, a zombie? Uh, sir? What? Help me. Y yes, what can Please. I do? Damn. What happened to you? I think he's got a really bad case of diarrhea. Uh, give health cure. There you go, partner. Drink up. It's a little bit of uh, alcohol, cocaine, opium. Yeah, there you go. See? Now that fixed you right up. You might shit your organs out, but. Over there. And it was like a gunshot. Oh. You're welcome. Remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Right. Some things you learn the hard way. So you're just... Yeah. You can... You can say that again. <laughs> so he... <laughs> he's just randomly fumbling around in the forest, eating crappy seeds without even knowing what it is. Oh, it's a little pink flower. I think I'm gonna eat it. Get sick. Well, you're really lucky that I passed by when I did. Did I seriously not get honor for that? I did not get honor for that. I'm pretty sure if you get honor, you see it on the right side as like a little heart or something. Right? I can't believe that. I saved this man's life and I got jack shit for that. Well, I guess you can't erase your crimes by helping a sick man get over his case of explosive diarrhea. Oh well, live and learn. Oh, hello, hello. I found a buck. This is gonna be perfect for the camp. There we go. Hell yeah. Ooh, clean shot too. All right, all right, this is gonna be perfect. I'll take this bad boy down to the camp and uh, donate him. Pick up. I'm not gonna skin him. I, I think you get more if you <laughs> donate the entire body, right? Gonna put you up here. Oh, uh, cooking a carrot animal will uh, only reward you with meat. Well, I'm not going to cook it. I'm going to donate it to my camp. I mean, that's one way to get honor, right? Donating supplies to my camp with all of my outlaw friends that are very hungry because again, I'm the only person that can seem to do anything around here. <laughs> uh, you would think a, uh, a band of outlaws living together would have more than one person doing all of the hard lifting. I'm out here hunting, gathering supplies, killing everyone. I mean, it's hard work being a criminal and having to kill everyone. The psychological stress is immense. But uh, nope, it's always me doing all the work. Everyone else just sits around and listens to weird opera music, goes fishing, and gets drunk. I'm looking at you, uncle. All right, well, I think I'm going to end it there for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, it seems like every single time we go on a job, no matter how hard I try to avoid killing people, which I actually haven't been trying to avoid any type of killing until this episode, or maybe last time, 
But uh, it seems like every time we go out on a job, no matter what, it always ends in a massacre, a slaughter. At least a few dozen people have to die. The very minimum would probably be six bodies per job. Like, I'm not even kidding. It is a dangerous, violent world as a criminal. Not even just a criminal, an outlaw, a degenerate outlaw, a desperado, right? Mr. Pearson, where are you at, you fat, jolly bastard? Come here. Where's your thick cheeks at? I got you a big ass buck. This should take care of the food supplies for quite a while. Although I did just donate a deer last episode, I think, before I started recording and already the supplies are low. All right, Mr. Pearson, get your ass over here. I've got a big thick buck. This ought to get me some points. Oh, boar tusk, animal fat. Okay, I can turn these in. Fantastic, there you go. And I've got one full, oh, a pelt. One full ass deer. Have at it. Really? Oh, there we go. We really needed this. That's still not enough? The food icon is red. Oh my god. How much meat do you guys need? That's a whole deer. Alright, well, apparently these people like to eat. Bunch of fat asses. Must be hard work doing nothing all day, right? Mmm. Anyway. Uh, oh, wait, where's Sean at? Oh, Sean! What did you get from that job, huh? I didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention, so I wasn't quite sure. After we killed those guys that were held up in the log cabin, I found $11, some cheese, and a revolver, which, speaking of revolvers, let me try and, uh, access my gun, which, of course, I can't until I leave the camp. And, uh, I think I can clean my gun, and, uh, we'll, we'll give it a couple test shots just to see how much better it is than my, uh, what is it called again? I'm not sure. My Colt revolver, right? The single action revolver, which is not so hot. Uh, okay, here we go. Double action revolver. Cool. All right, let's take a couple of shots and see how, uh, I guess accurate this is. Not even accurate how fast it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing is way faster. Woo. All right, I can smoke some ass with this. Now, how do I, uh, how do I look at my gun? I'm pretty sure there's a way to look at your gun and uh, clean it and all of that. Unless you have to go and do it at a workbench or take it into a gun shop. Not quite sure. Oh, there we go. Okay. Aim. I can toggle the views. Oh, of course. First person. I can zoom. But, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can do any cleaning. Maybe you have to take it into a gun shop. I'm not sure. Leave a comment down below. Either way, we have a new gun. We slaughtered a bunch of people. I donated a deer. We went and did a job with Sean. So, you know, pretty fun episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.